Hello, and welcome to Win Automation Tutorials. I'm Tyler. This video will be going over Twitter automation. One might argue that this is a bad use case, but in reality, there are many legal ways you can automate Twitter. Much like a chatbot, social media can be made smarter with the introduction of logic and AI. This tutorial will cover Twitter advanced search, website navigation, and sending a tweet. This use case is simple, but can be applied in many ways. So let's get started. All right, so as always, the first step in your RPA journey will be to decide what you want to do and start to architect your solution. So I've decided I want to automate Twitter, but what I specifically want to do is be able to target a user around a specific subject matter. So uh, I'm going to be trying to target my own company account, chat mode, uh, around the subject of podcasts. So one way to do that is using Twitter's advanced search. So if you just search uh, any hashtag or anything, uh, it'll go into the explore, or you can type uh, twitter.com slash search dash advanced, and it'll get you to the Twitter advanced search section um, where we will be given more specific search functionalities around uh, Twitter's uh, search bar which will allow us to specifically target my the account that I want and uh, the exact phrases I want. So now that we know what we want to do, we can actually hop into Win Automation and open up the console. So the next step in the process is always to press Control N and start a new process. So um, we're going to call this tweet at chat mode and we'll just open up the process designer. Cool. So we're not going to jump into any of these cool tools right away. What we're going to want to do is come up to this little globe icon, which is the web recorder and click that. Um, and we want to use Chrome and click OK. And what that does is it brings up the live web recorder. And I want to move that on over here a little bit and come back here. Um, and now that we have the live uh, web recorder, we are recording web actions. So you can already see that it is launched Chrome. It's navigated to this advanced search section. Um, and what we want to do is we want to input in this exact phrase section. Um, let's say podcasts. So we're looking for the exact phrase podcast. We're going to scroll down a little bit and we're going to do from chat mode chat underscore mode so you can see right here it uh populated this exact phrase with podcast and it's going to populate from these accounts with chat mode um and i don't think i really need anything else here and what we're gonna do is click search so it populated uh it did get there, but I don't know if this is going to be exactly what I want. Uh, so I'm going to reset this real quick. Uh, let's just go back, click advanced search and do this again. Sweet. So you can see that it's actually pretty easy to get back into the web recorder. Um, and now that we're back here, I'm going to do this exact phrase podcast. Um, scroll down from these accounts and do chat mode and I'll show you exactly why I did that you can actually scroll back and see why I did this but um, it didn't populate the uh, control with uh, yeah it didn't capture the control so you can see that uh, it captured this exact phrase control and it captured from these accounts control and then we're going to be populating it so i don't need these click actions so i'm going to come back into the web recorder and go get rid of those go back to the website keep these uh click search it's going to log that control we're good and then we're going to click latest logs that and then we're going to click this div Didn't capture that control, which is fine. And we're just gonna type anything here. I think we're gonna have to replace uh, this. Um, it's not gonna capture anything. So we're gonna actually have to send the keys ourselves and I'll be able to show you guys how to do that. So uh, this is a great podcast. And from 
win automation. Cool. So we type that in and click reply. Well, actually, let's just make it uh, Tyler. Uh, we'll change it to win automation when we uh, reply to this. So we click reply, it saves that. We're gonna click retweet and then we're gonna click like, uh, and I think all that gets saved and we are good to go. Maybe, I don't wanna click on the six. I want to click on, hmm, doesn't seem it wants to save it properly. That's okay. So now that we have this, I'm gonna get rid of these web elements, keep the retweet and finish that on up. Uh, it's gonna save all of these actions for us that we just captured inside of the web automation console, uh, the web recorder. So you can see that we have launch Chrome uh, and it goes directly to the initialize URL that we want, which is the search advanced. Uh, it is gonna go to this new URL, which we actually don't need to do. So we're gonna delete that. Uh, it's gonna populate uh the it doesn't doesn't need to click on this yes it does it needs to click on the actually don't think it does it doesn't need to click on that uh it's going to take the this exact phrase control and populate it with a uh, podcast it's gonna populate the from these accounts with chat mode it's gonna click on search latest uh, it's gonna click on, I believe that is the reply icon. And then this is a great podcast. We don't need that. We do need reply though, which is good. And then I believe, we'll just keep that. So when it clicks latest and it clicks on reply, I think we need to send keys. So. What we need to send is the reply statement. So this is a great pod cast from when automation. So we need to send this keystroke uh, in the reply section of the browser. Uh, and then we click reply and then we click retweet. So let's just try to run this now that I've set up all these actions. And let's see if it works. So it opens up the website opens up cod podcast goes to latest clicks reply this is great but yep and it's good to go and it did it did it click retweet though so that's what i really need to know it got through it didn't break so it sent a tweet um which is great but did it click retweet i think it might have because i think i had it retweeted beforehand so if this goes green so now we can see that we have two uh, replies here, one from me when I set it up and one from uh, the process just right now. So um, I really want to see, we'll do it one more time. I don't want to really uh, spam these guys too much, uh, spam my uh, business partners, but I do want to see if this goes green. So we'll run it one more time but you can see that you can use one automation to set up uh, search functionality. And if I were to schedule this out, I could say uh, essentially check if there is a, um, a new tweet that doesn't have a reply from us. Um, and if not, uh, essentially uh, tweet at it and, re and retweet it um, automatically. So if you have like personal accounts and you just want to set up a uh, retweet automation or like uh, engagement interactions with your own company accounts, uh, when automation might be a good way to do it. Um, but I do just want to see real quick um, if it does actually retweet it. If it doesn't, it's fine. We can always fix it later. Oh, it definitely does. So it it wasn't able to retweet it only because uh, I, I sent that tweet once. Uh, okay, this will be our last one, our last one, just because it's a little fun. It's fun to watch it tweet. Uh, so we'll, we'll see if it can retweet real quick. This will be the last go. 
cool, cool. It's the latest. This is a great podcast. And it clicks retweet. And we did it. And we did it. That's amazing. So, uh, yeah, like I was describing, you can use uh, Win Automation to essentially uh, send tweets for you if you want uh, around specific uh, topic subjects, uh, around specific accounts. You can see in the search bar, uh, it's hard coded for podcast. So it's in quotations because it's looking for an exact match of podcast. Um, this is the syntax for only searching for chat mode that was done in the advanced search functionality, which I just uh, set up in about, I don't know, 10 minutes to uh, send, be able to send out tweets. And I guess the last thing that I'm going to show you is scheduling this. So now that we have this uh, tweet at chat mode bot, uh, I could make it more complex by adding some logic and saying like, oh, you know, if, uh, you know, if a uh, podcast is all filled, I also want you to search for, uh, you know, uh, conversational AI and like loop through and stuff. But you know what? Uh, you guys can figure out how to do that or maybe I'll do it in a later video. This is just uh, showing you how to do uh, one specific topic and one specific account, but you can always just change these or make, you know, a hundred, hundred different processes to, uh, you know, monitor different keywords. Actually, that might be a cool way to do it. But since we uh, set up this process, I'll now show you the scheduler. We'll just create a new schedule. Actually, I think I'm going to exit out of this real quick because I want query reoccurring schedule. And uh, what we're going to say is this uh, tweets at chat mode. So like I was saying, if you want to set it up to tweet around a specific use case or retweet specific things, uh, specific topics, or even your own company account, I would re recommend doing your own company account. Um, yeah, uh, you can do it from Win Automation. So now that I have scheduled a start, I'm going to just uh, click uh, every 10 minutes. Uh, now I'm going to select uh, tweet at chat mode. Uh, and now we have this reoccurring uh, thing that's going. Uh, I don't want to do it, so I'm just going to close it out, stop the process. But you can see that every 10 minutes now, this would this would just go. Uh, it has a trigger. I, I cancel it. Uh, its next run is set for uh, nine minutes. So nine minutes from now, um, just because I just exited it out and it's set for 10 minutes. So uh, this was kind of a, just like a little fun. Uh, I don't know, exercise to show you some unique functionality around Win Automation and using it for uh, scheduling uh, automated tweets, essentially, like uh, tweet monitoring, tweet automation. Uh, so if that interests you, piques your fancy, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching and until next time, see ya.